So anyway, welcome back to the Husqvarna YouTube channel. Uh, we've not done too much on this channel so far this year because uh, I've had no teammates, so there's no point doing my own vlog and a team vlog. Uh, so if you want to catch up on all the races that I've done so far, go and look on my channel. Uh, but for Erzberg being such a big event, we had a full Husqvarna truck of riders, so we thought we'd make the most of it and jump back on the Husqvarna channel. So enjoy. I'm not entirely sure where this video is going to pick up from because I'm not sure what clips were salvageable and what wasn't. It's such a blur of a week, the week at Erzberg. But anyway, we're gonna resume some point on race day and catch up with some of the Husky guys and see how everyone got on uh, from the magic that is the Erzberg Rodeo. Enjoy! If you've been watching my channel, you've seen we've had a very empty truck all year. It's quite the contrast for this weekend. We've got loads of teammates, so I'll give you a quick run through. This bike isn't actually being used. This bike, oh, I had washed that sign. Well, that tells you who he is. Lyndon Poskett. There's actually a video of this bike being built. Me and Ed watched it the other week, didn't we? We did. Um, Lyndon does like Dakar, um, Mali Motor stuff, makes lots of content for you adventure lovers out there. Um, Anyway, he's sponsored pretty heavily by Motrex, so he's under the truck. Ryder LeBlond from USA. Um, I feel a bit bad, I can't give you too many stats, but he's young, hotshot from America. If you watched the vlog from when we went to TKO last year and our bikes didn't arrive, uh, Ryder isn't a factory rider, but his, he was pitting under the factory tent and his team kind of saved the day for us, gave us tyres to use for the race and parts and everything like that. So, Ryder LeBlond, next up. South African, Red Swanepoel, often when he does come and do races in Europe, gets some factory support. Uh, races, usually races just in South Africa, but he's one of the best in South Africa, wins like national enduro, national off-roads. You're gonna have to do some B-roll of his sign and stuff, because we've got Austrian royalty in the house and the bay next to me. I watched a video actually this morning and figured out some facts about him. Not that I'd planned to learn them, but Two-time Olympic gold medalist, seven-time world champion, alpine skier, Marcel Hersher. Impressed with that. So yeah, he's retired now from professional ski racing. Just loves hard enduro and wants to come and smash himself around some rocks for four hours. So he's, I was speaking to him quite a bit. He's, he's very nervous. So as a team manager, you've got lots of people to look after this weekend. Eh? Yeah, really full the tent. Big, big change from the last few rounds. Yeah, but it's cool. Good, nice guys. Nah, it's a solid team. It's better to be full than empty. Yeah. Than empty. I mean, nothing. You know what it means? Uh, it's like one, two, three, four, five. Nah, it's good to see. I like Making use of all this space. Usually, we'd have to make bicycle races or something on a night time because <laughs> we've got so much space. It feels like a waste. But anyway, number six. Bill qualified six fastest in a pro. That's my best ever, I think. Little energy drill, energy gel. Sometimes put them on both sides, but hopefully this race is only going to be a couple hours long. You never know though, it's going to be, it's very hot. Temperatures have been incredibly high all week. A little bit of duct tape, in case you have to bodge anything back together. Pull strap, hopefully we don't need it, but it's there. Two stroke 300, all two stroke 300. We'll cut back to Friday and Saturday's prologue action. Um, see how each of them got on, and then we'll catch up with everyone before the race starts. <laughs> From uh, motivation side and um, point of um, effort that I put into this run, um, it was definitely better. Um, if the timing is better, I can't say because uh, I think the track is already pretty um, damaged and um, it is hard to uh, to find a grip. And um, anyways, the terrain is um, after so many riders already um, pretty um, rough. But um, I'm super happy with my performance. That was definitely cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, start line Erzberg Rodeo. I'm on the front row, 24th. Uh, happy with that. So, well, I was twisting it as much as I can twist it. But, uh, yeah, the line got a good, pretty good line. There's a bit of water down there. A bit unpredictable. I don't want any water in the face, really. But I just have to duck down for the water. Kind of the race that made our sport what it is today. So it's been a long three years, but it's very nice to be back. You have some very good results here, but um, no podium, I guess. So yeah, I don't think they're very good, to be honest. <laughs> the first year was quite good, but then the rest has been pretty, pretty terrible. So. Um, Yeah. I don't think it's water in there. Yeah, that was that was a tough one. I think the toughest Erzberg I ever did, anyway. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, lost, struggled a little bit. Had quite bad arm pump, to be honest, at the beginning. Um, I went, took a little bit of a risk and went with the harder tire just to try and keep it good for the end, which um, which I struggled quite a bit in the first forest. It's nothing super difficult, but it was quite wet, so I just just really. Yeah, lost some time on quite easy sections. Yeah, I was making them fine, but the other guys were, were, were making them much faster than me. So, um, yeah, lost time in the beginning because of that. But at the same time, the, having the tyre left at the end kind of helped in dynamite and, and pull the guys back. So it was, uh, yeah, a little bit of a compromise, but struggled a lot in the in the beginning just, just to find a flow. Got quite bad on pump. Still in the lead of the championship. I kind of wish I wasn't so I could focus on getting healthy and not worry about still being in the lead of the championship but while I'm still in the lead it's quite difficult to do that you know I'm, I'm a racer and I'm a fighter and I don't want to I don't want to let my championship from last year go go without a fight but at the same time you know I've struggled for quite a few months now and I think um, I think for from from next week at least it's my, my focus is on getting healthy and, and try and get back to 100% um, and then we'll go from there this is Brett Brett had a terrible week. <laughs> I'll let him talk you through it. Terrible, terrible. He's lost brakes every day. Yeah. First day my brake pin fell out. Halfway up prologue. Stuff up. Second day. Rear brake. brake that was. Lost yeah. his rear brake at the prologue. Second day it overheated and there was my only chance to get on first row, so it was a stuff up. Then today, got checkpoint five going up a hill, guy shot a rock, smashed my front brake. No breaks again. Next next time I'm actually take them off. I better have better chance. So what have you got in your hand? <laughs> Another brake. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that was a clutch. It's a clutch. So where did you end up? Carl's diamond. Difficult week. Brett's capable yeah. of far more. I can vouch for that. <laughs> well, at least we've featured another husky rider in this husky vlog. Let's actually, before we end it, let's go and try and have another catch up. I can't stress enough how difficult. Oh, Lyndon's here. You can talk now. That's great. <laughs> We're doing a vlog for the Husky channel. How is your Erzberg? Any good? <laughs> Come, it's carnage. <laughs> it's undescribable. Carnage. I can't express enough I, the, the, men, the how mental this race is. 
Well, all I can say is I spent over an hour trying to get one checkpoint one, and I thought it was done, and then I just managed to get through and carry on. But it's just crazy. And the thing is, you have to be on the front row. If you're not on the front row, it's forget crazy. it. Because well, there's so many people. The, the front row. We did an, we did the full lap of the training loop. I don't know if you heard about that. <laughs> no. So they forgot to put the fence down after the train the training loop yesterday. We went up. The track was meant to go straight on, and the fence was still there. So we did a full circle. Luckily, the whole of the front road followed me and Manny. So we arrived to the fence first again, and we just smashed through it. So that was carnage. But do you know where you ended up roughly? Uh, about 170, if I think. <laughs> but, yeah, it was just are you coming carnage. back next year? Honestly, once I got put through that, I did. I got 11 checkpoints in two hours. I hammered it, but I just I was stuck all the time and the stuck behind people. But anyway, at least we're fit. we've got two riders now. We've only got two more to go. When are you coming to ride the rally bike? I would. That does need to happen. That definitely. I've never. Needs to happen. I've never been on any rally bike. Whatsoever. Who would like to see Bill sending one of them? Yeah, that actually. Bikes? If this is Husky's channel, so if Husky wanna like. Put some budget that way, that'd be good. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> anyway, well done, Lyndon. Yeah, nice one. Well Thanks done, for coming mate. out in. Yeah, cheers. Playing with the high and duo. Yeah, with the with the A team, it was good. <laughs> Where did this happen, dare I ask? God, I think I broke one side, shoot, one, one of the hills in the beginning, and the other part at Carl just from picking it off. I ripped it. But yeah, it was I was hard out there. It was, it was worse than I thought it would be. But yeah, this year was the hardest one I've ever done, but yeah. you can watch videos and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. like when you have when it actually yeah. down there at the start and then you set off, it's pretty uh, difficult to know yeah. what's Nothing pretty, can prepare you yeah. for the scale of it here. The carnage of what's yeah. going on, like. Um, I mean, we have hard races, but definitely not any that are this hard. So it's, yeah, learning but, experience But for sure. first time here. Enjoyed yeah. it? Yeah, I enjoyed it up until I hit a wall and just pretty much Where did died. you end up? Where did you get to? Barely through Carl's, like quarter, three quarters of the way through probably, not real far. Carl's was hard this year. Just, it was, it was actually short in distance, but it took yeah. so long to get through. And yeah, the, it screwed me up where they changed. Yeah, it. Like, I had my lines yeah. picked out and then the I think I got tired and the rocks got bigger and the holes got deeper. So it was tough. Oh well. Well, it was nice to have you out anyway. Yeah. It's nice to have some friends in the truck. Oh yeah, for sure. And I'm sure. Uh, are, we, are you going to be in the truck when we come to America? I don't know. Hopefully. Oh well. well maybe you'll feature there. again. If yeah. You do. For sure. But no. Be there. Well done. Yeah. Good job too. for your first time. Oh yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Um. We've all, well, the taxi gone quite well in the end. We've only got one rider left. Truck's disassembled. We didn't get to speak to Marcel Hersher, unfortunately, so he hasn't featured in the vlog. What about him up there? Him? Him. Looks like he's been to war, didn't he? Yeah. We've had a good day, me and Stan. Yeah, I've seen you being to Stanley! You had a good day? Huh? Have you had a good day? They're beating you. Erzberg's over. Busy, busy week. Like, undescribably busy week. Race, we talked about the race, we're seeing most of the other people. If we do do another one from another race, it will be better. I promise you, just this, this race is hard work. But anyway, done. Thanks for watching. Much love. See you in a bit.